Hello friends this is Ram and I'm a co-founder and director of Madover Insurance People say we eat sleep think only insurance so we are bringing you interesting videos related to insurance and customer experiences please subscribe to our youtube channel madover insurance and also follow our website www.madoverinsurance.com and also our social platforms sir i am actually planning to renew my car insurance right so it is a 3 year old car okay so the purchase value i bought it is somewhere around 10 lakhs right uh, but after 3 years after depreciations they said it is coming up to 7 lakhs coverage okay the insurance broker is insisting me to take a uh, nil depreciation cover and he said there is something called return to invoice cover right. as well right. so do i need to take them because my premium is much lower if i don't take them yeah did you ever claim in this 3 years uh no not actually okay that's why uh, you never suffered because of a claim <laughs> okay and that's why the question is coming up because in your normal standard policy that you bought for all these 3 years what would have happened is you could have a, a scratch claim hmm. you could have a dent claim you could have a major accident and a major damage you could have a theft claim you could have a flood claim so the claim can be at the total loss or a partial loss yes so let's look at now the partial losses in all these partial losses when you repair what the insurance company used to do is it used to depreciate towards your rubber parts hmm. towards your plastic parts towards painting so if your garage is charging you say 10000 rupees you may hardly get 6000 or 7000 rupees you would have lost out 3000 4000 in a claim okay and if it was a larger claim you would have suffered much more this was towards depreciation what this nil depreciation cover is doing is it is ensuring that this depreciation is not directed so that when a claim actually occurs you are getting far nearer to the amount that your garage is charging you for repairing Okay so maximum claim amount will be paid absolutely okay so even though you pay extra premium for nil dip it certainly a cover that you should opt for because you will be paying some extra premium but you will be actually in case of a claim getting much more without much deductions as far as your claim is concerned okay so anyhow uh, this nil depreciation covers majority of my parts Absolutely. so the claim is also maximum paid right so then why should i take a return to invoice again okay i told you there can be total loss there can be a partial loss yes the nil dip is mainly useful for your partial loss where there are repairs okay but suppose there is a total loss for example your uh, there is a theft of your vehicle hmm. or for that matter there is a major flood because of which your vehicle is completely damaged okay or there is a major accident because of which the repair cost is so costly that it is better to replace than to repair okay. normally in insurance parlance they call it as constructive total loss okay when the repair cost is more than 75% of the idv they call it constructive total loss it's treated as a total loss okay in those cases what would have happened was you actually purchase it for 10 lakhs your idv is 7 lakhs you would have maximum got 7 lakhs what this return to invoice is doing is in case of a claim it is paying you that 10 lakhs which actually includes your ex showroom cost yes it also includes the road tax okay it also includes the registration charges okay so all these are included and that is something that you are able to get back from the insurance company in case of a total loss okay. so while nilled up cover serves some other purpose your return to invoice cover is serving a different purpose okay so certainly i would suggest go in for a nilled up also go in for a return to invoice okay so now if i take a nilled depreciation cover it is giving me a benefit at the time of claims yeah. when there are some rubber parts or painting work Absolutely. there is no depreciation in terms of claims the full whatever the maximum claim needs to be paid will be paid correct and when there is a return to invoice i will get 
uh, it will be helpful at the time of total loss Absolutely. my uh, invoice value will be paid Correct. basing on few parameters Correct. right absolutely okay so so is this coverage sufficient or sh- should i take any more coverages to protect my complete vehicle absolutely i think your broker would also state something called as a consumable yes he said cover. he said consumables and there is something called engine protect as well he was insisting yes. on taking right. both of them as well. again again since you did not have an experience of a claim in the first three yes, years yes uh, you would not have understood that when the claim used to occur there were quite a few items which were not paid which were charged by your garage okay but not paid by the insurance policy yes these consumables could be nuts and bolts okay it could be the engine oil it could be the distilled water okay so all these were not paid okay if you buy this particular extension or add on cover you get paid for the consumables okay and the last thing you talked about is engine protect yes you might have come across on in tv that uh, and uh, nowadays every city in india is prone to flooding yes yes there is a lot of floods Absolutely. happening uh, you can't find a city where uh, and you have seen in tv whenever this flooding occurring uh, yeah many, many private cars yes. are completely yes. flooded yes some people are hmm. caught unaware they are driving hmm. your engine is wet you are driving it without knowing not consciously and your engine ceases hmm or it is quite possible that because of the water ingress your engine is damaged normally your standard policy did not cover it okay so whereas when you buy this engine protector you are able to get that also covered okay so it's serving a different purpose and especially looking at the way flooding is taking place looking at the fact that most of us park our cars under in basements yes and basements whatever be the reason the flooding is uh, yes much more higher in higher in basements yes, yes. so it's better to buy the engine protect also okay as far as uh, the coverage is concerned okay because you may be paying some extra premium for all this but remember when a claim comes that is when all these will give you that advantage of very minimal deductions from your claim amount okay So friends while buying a motor insurance policy you need to keep in mind that the coverage needs to be taken for maximum covers like nil depreciation engine protect consumables and also return to invoice which will help you to get a maximum claim at the time of complete damage of the vehicle or a partial damage of the vehicle so the premiums might be little higher but all we suggest is to buy a full covered policy